Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to set up a Twitch redeem or even a YouTube command when setting up a head pack GIF or GIF. I say GIF. You can say GIF all you want. I'm saying GIF. Anyways, pretty much setting up a head pad GIF redeem for your VTuber setup. Now, uh, Sindri uh, Shu here, they have provided some really cute head pad GIFs. They're very popular, and this has been a very requested tutorial, so we're gonna be setting this up. So you can go in the description below, uh, the tweet will be there, and you can be able to go to this comment here, click on this link, and it should pretty much send you over to their, uh, Google Drive that shows the different uh, little GIFs they have here. In order to download them, you simply just right click and then click on download. And then, you know, once uh, Google is done processing, I'm just gonna say okay. And it should be, you know, downloaded to your uh, PC and stuff. And I have mine over here, actually, the headpad GIF. So I'm going to show you on how you can be able to add it into Waterdome. And then we can set up the redeem. So what you're going to do is that on the Waterdome editor here, you're going to click on the paw. You're going to go into open data folder. And then this file explorer should pop up. What you're going to do is that you're going to go down into the images folder here. So again, uh, images right here. Go here, and then you can be able to add your GIF images. As you can see, I got two of them already here. So simply just go ahead, do control C to the GIF here, and then control V. For my case, I could just replace it, but you know, it's there. So you just add your GIFs over here, and then what you're going to do is uh, on the water editor, you're going to go ahead and add an asset here. Add up, uh, go ahead and add a screen prop screen, not not this one. This one for 3D props. This one is for the PNG stuff or even JPEG. Uh, so screen here. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to set the content type here into image. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click here and you're going to find the head pet GIF name. For my case, it is the pet blue. And then what you're going to do is you're going to attach this to your character. And then what you're going to do is that uh, uh, there should be a gizmo that appears. If the gizmo doesn't appear, because sometimes that happens, what you're going to do is that in the Waterdo editor, you see these little letters right here, X, Y, Z. Uh, when you hover your mouse, you can see a little tetel cursor. Uh, there should be the little arrow that pops up. You're just going to click and drag in front of the uh, letter here. So that way you can quickly, you know, control it. Let's see, uh, you can also double click on the asset as well to bring up the little arrows. So you can just click and drag. If it, if the head pad's a bit too big for you, simply press the R button on your keyboard. Find this little white box here and just click and drag um, a lot to kind of make it smaller. See, Then press the W key in order to change it back to movement and just kind of fine tune it to how you want it. If you want to rotate it, just press the E button. Uh, again, this is similar controls to, uh, this is pretty much the exact controls in Unity if you ever use Unity, which I recommend you learn Unity. Um, you can be able to, again, uh, rotate the prop so that way, you know, it's a lot more fine-tuned to your head shape. But pretty much, you know, you just adjust it from there. And there you go. Once you have it where you're happy with the placement of the head pat, like let's say this for example, what you're going to do is that you're going to set this to no. So that way it doesn't keep appearing like, because again, you're not going to have a head pat every single second unless you want to. I mean, you know, all power to you. But we're going to turn this into a redeem. So right now we have the prop there. Um, we can actually go ahead here and just rename the asset so we, you know, don't get confused with any other screen assets we have. So, you know, again, click over here, rename asset. We're going to name this to headpat redeem. Click OK. And then we're going to go over here to blueprints. We're going to add a blueprint here and we're going to rename this uh, into head pat redeem. 
like that. I press the enter key on my keyboard. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and click on collapse sidebar so we have a bit room. We're going to go to the search bar right here. We're going to type in Twitch. Uh, again, we're going to start off with Twitch and then I'll show you the YouTube equivalents. So we're going to type in Twitch and then channel uh, and then find this one here called Twitch channel points redeemed. Click and drag it there. What you're going to do is you're going to type in string contains. String contains. Click and drag. Then you're going to type in if branch and click and drag it over here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to connect the exit to the enter here and then reward title this A over to here. Then we're going to name this to head pad redeem or you could just name it to head pad whatever it is as long as you make sure that on your twitch uh creator dashboard under viewer rewards that the, uh you make a, re a channel point redeem exactly spelt like this including if you happen to add any spaces make sure you add spaces and stuff you know it's the exact same name just copy and paste it over so what this is uh, what this is is that when a channel point is redeemed if that if that reward title is named head pat then the condition if that is true we need to use a, a node called set asset property this node here this is your god bible node whoever the heck uh, not 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 get property no 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 set asset property this one allows you to manipulate anything in the assets panel so please abuse this node so you're going to connect this from if true to enter and there you go now you're going to control c and then control v to duplicate it now in between these nodes here we're going to create a delay control flow now what this is is that we're going to have it where we're going to tell the channel point redeem to turn on the head pat gif image for a certain amount of time and then automatically turn it off for us so in this first uh, set asset property node this is going to be the head pat redeem the data uh, the data path when we click this it has to be enabled we will tell that when the channel point redeem is enabled like again if it's true then what's going to happen is going to the target value is going to be yes meaning that it's going to be toggled on then what's going to happen is that we are going to set this delay control flow as our timer so connect these two together delay let's say for example it's going to be a 10 second head pat and then we're going to then connect this over here uh, again, you can also just, again, reduplicate, but I'm just gonna, you know, add this manually again, just so you can kind of just, again, you know, remember this. Um, so I'm gonna set that to head pet redeem as well. Data pass, set that to enabled, but this time the target value will be no. So in order for us to test it you can either a add the channel point redeem to twitch and then you can test it from there but also you can just press on the enter button right here you can see that the head pad turned on and then after 10 seconds is up uh it will then turn off automatically so we're just going to give it some time there you go so now it turned off automatically. So there you go. Also, by the way, in case you're wondering how to turn off this little gizmo thing, you could just click on the transform tool and just click that off. Or you could just deselect the um, the prop here. So just want to let you know. But that's pretty much, again, you just you literally just made your first head pad GIF redeem. Congratulations. Now, again, please make sure that you have your Twitch account connected. Uh, again, I'm assuming that you did uh, go to the onboarding assistant and connect it from there. But if you haven't, just in case, uh, you're going to go into menu and then you're going to go into your settings and then you go into Twitch. And then from here, you'll be able to log in from, you know, from here. So 
there you go. Uh, so just remember to do that. And same with YouTube as well. You just click on yes for this. Uh, yes, this pop-up is going to appear when you do that. This is annoying. You can't turn it off. I'm sorry to say. Maybe in the future I'll be able to turn it off. I'll let you guys know. But um, I'd say, again, you could at least minimize it. But, you know, you just add your channel point URL and... Pretty much, uh, you know, in order to make this into a YouTube command, by the way, let me show you how to do that, actually. So, in order to make this into a YouTube command, you're going to type in YouTube, um, or we can actually just make another, uh, we can actually duplicate this blueprint, by the way, and instead of making this into the Twitch uh, channel point redeem, we can delete that, uh, we can actually make this into let's see here chat received let me check that yeah so on youtube chat received so again because we have to make this into a command since uh youtube does not have a point system like twitch you could use streamer bot by the way in case you're curious uh but i i don't someone else has a proper tutorial about that but from here um for well, actually yeah, regarding the channel point thing, I'll actually leave in the description uh, in case you're wondering how to make like a like a Twitch point system similar thing, but YouTube, just check the description below actually. Um, I'll link the resources there. But what you're going to do um, is that you're going to connect exit to enter and then you're going to connect message to the A. And instead of head pad, just type in exclamation mark head pad instead. And it'll, again, pretty much just do the same thing like the Twitch one, except this is a YouTube translation. It is for channel message. Again, if you want to have points, uh, the there, you know, I'll leave the two tutorials. I'll link my streamerbot tutorial on connecting uh, Wadudo to streamerbot. And then someone else's tutorial that actually goes over a very, very detailed explanation to how to make YouTube point system i actually even use on my own stream so you can check that out but uh overall i hope that this tutorial helps you out on setting up a head pat gif for both youtube and twitch and you know overall i you know hope that this can help you out uh, if you have any other questions the water discord server is in the description below so you, um it should be there you can also request tutorials so you know but Either way, I hope you have a lovely day, though, and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye!